Hi folks, Steve again. In this tutorial, I will get you sending SMS messages to your contacts. So firstly, we log in. And then let's go to SMS campaigns. So you'll start off without any campaigns. So let's add a new SMS campaign by clicking the Create Campaign button. Here you'll give your campaign a descriptive name. Let's call it Special Offer for Product A. And then select a category. Now you'll need to add a new category. So do so and choose a good name that groups what you're offering, like e-commerce sales or insurance or newsletters. Let's go with e-commerce sale. Now Leadify will come pre-connected to an SMS provider, although you can add your own if you choose to. So select spread equally across standard routes here. If you require reverse build SMS, please contact your account manager. The default settings to send messages and receive replies should be left as is. Transactional campaign is used when you want to trigger SMS messages from an API. This is advanced functionality and can be discussed with your account manager. Since Leadify is a lead generation marketing platform, we like to track the revenue a lead is worth. So work out what a lead is worth and use this value here. We will use 100 Rand revenue for each lead we generate in our special offer sale. Now you click next and the campaign will be generated and you will enter the edit campaign wizard. The first tab, general, is the one you've just completed. So let's finish the campaign setup using the other tabs. Getting your first campaign going is really simple. You're going to want to schedule a start date and start time for your campaign, select the contacts you want to send to from the marketing list and craft the message to be sent to the contacts. So these three tabs are the most important. So schedule. Choose the next scheduled send date, the date you want the message to be sent. We'll choose today as we want the campaign to simply send today and the end date is already defaulted to today. You choose a start time and end time that makes sense to you. We will choose 4 p.m. for both because we want all the messages to send straight away at 4 p.m. If you wanted to stagger the SMS send over a few hours, you could set the finish time later in the day. The schedule days can stay ticked since we have set the start and end date to today anyhow. Now scroll back up to marketing lists. It is important not to save the campaign at this stage, since the campaign would then try and build the sending segment. We need to complete the steps in each tab and then save right at the end when we're happy. So marketing lists is where you choose the marketing list that you want to target in this campaign. You can target multiple lists and you can also choose how many contacts you want to send to from each list. We want to send all of the contacts in this list, so we set this to seven, because there are seven contacts in this list. The last step in getting your first SMS campaign out is to add the message you want to send to these contacts. Let's click the Messages tab, and here you will click Add Message. Now you have 160 characters in total to work with. You can also personalize the message using the drop down on the right hand side. Let's add first name, space, last name, space, and then add your message. You must always give the opportunity to opt out, so include Reply stop for out. You don't have to take our word that personalization works. 
you can a b split test this yourself click add message and let's just copy the above message without personalization now the system will automatically send half of message a and half of message b and you can use the insights reporting to see which message actually converts better you can also add a website link to your sms using our link shortening system which also then allows tracking of clicks to your website you simply add your website address to the click url box and you can also add custom variables that you can pass through to the web call so let's put this website address into our message as well so you scroll back up and select click tracking URL from the drop-down you'll see it places it at the end of each message so now I've shown you how to schedule a date and time choose a marketing list to target and add the messages that will be sent including some personalization split testing and website tracking Targeting criteria, exclusion criteria, and inbound triggers can stay as default for now, as they are advanced functionality and will be detailed in a separate tutorial. We can now save and exit the campaign, and Leadify will build the segment and queue the contacts. You'll be directed to the SMS campaigns page and should see the building segment label. If you reload the page after a short while, you will see the blue queued label. And this is how you know your campaign is ready to go. If you click the view status page on the right in actions, this little info button, you will see the campaign overview and how many messages are scheduled to be sent. And that's it. That's your first SMS campaign on the go. As is always appreciated, please like the video tutorial and share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you for watching.